Hello and thanks for watching this Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Smart Fill tool. So let's say we have an object. In this case we've got some text and the effect we want is to have it have multiple uh, stripes of color or have it go from one color to another color. Now obviously you can use the uh, Fill tool and have it fade. We, we can do that. Uh, but there's another option depending on what your again the effect that you want that is actually quite cool. So in this case, I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'm going to just draw something right over the top of my text. And I'm just going to leave it there. That way we can see it. Now we come over to the Smart Fill tool. Go ahead and click that. And then we get a couple of options. I can specify the color that I want to have and whether or not I want there to be an outline. On mine, the default was that it used um, a, you know, specified a two pixel. So I had to switch to no outline. Otherwise, it kind of creates a strange little effect. So in this case we're just going to keep it simple and I'm going to leave it red just so we can see that. And I've got everything set. Now all I have to do is start clicking. See now the intersection will do it both ways. So I'll show it to you inside the first the first time and then I'll show you outside as well. So I click in here and you'll see that it's only filled what's intersecting and below. So if I can go through I can click all the elements that I want to have and over here. And so now if I remove my, my box here, you can see that now I've got text with two tones and a straight line and, and just really a nice effect. And obviously you could use a, a circle or, or another shape in there as well, and I'll show you that too. Um, and so you, again, you can do the exact same thing in reverse. I'm gonna quickly back out of here. Okay, Smart Fill Tool. I'm gonna leave it red, but this time I'm gonna click everything above. And so essentially it is doing you know uh, the opposite of what I did before and uh, uh, doing just the, the section that's not being intersected by this object. So it's the exclusion version. But again, same effect having a two-tone setup. Again, which is kind of cool. So let's let's look at one other. Obviously, what you could do is you could then readjust the position here. I'm going to drag this down a little bit. I'm going to click my Smart Fill tool again and change the color to uh, something else, uh, it doesn't really matter, click that, and then I can do this. And so I can very quickly create a design that has three colors, you know, I can go for a, uh, you know, a national flag, I can go for a rainbow, right, it just depends on, you know, what you're working on. You could easily make this be something for the World Cup, for uh, the Olympics, you know, if your design is relating to uh, a, a holiday and you want to have the na your national flag colors in there, uh, away you go. So that's using the Smart Fill tool and a very uh, straightforward uh, design. But let's take a look at another object as well. Okay, so let's say we have this. We're just going to use the same thing. And again, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys to create the really cool stuff. And obviously, whatever you're working on, uh, you might find a, a reason to use this. But I'm going to grab the star here. This is a pretty cool little effect. And I'm uh, using my control key to make sure it draws out nice and perfectly. And in this case, I'm just going to make sure it covers over the actual text. And then, you know, the outline that's there, you could leave or not, again, depending on what you're doing. I'm going to leave it there just for the sake of this little um, tutorial here. So I'm going to grab the Smart Tool again. Uh, I'm going to leave it purple. Why not? And then I can just click in. Right, so what we're seeing here is this, st this star going all the way through hitting the outline and obviously going around and we've got the fill in there and then the other colors as well so when we remove the star then we have kind of a neat effect so very quickly I was able to create an effect like this uh, essentially inside the text by using the smart fill tool you know, obviously uh, depending on the size that you're working with you get a different effect uh, you can obviously make this bigger and you can get some pretty cool cool designs going uh, very quickly and What's kind of nice about it is that you can use it to create one of those effects where people recognize that it's a star even though it's not there. So if you want to do one of those slightly abstract designs where they have, you have shapes that are semi-hidden, this is a pretty good way to do that. Thanks again for watching. This was a Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tutorial talking about the Smart Fill Tool.